Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And there are few better days on the football calendar than opening day in Serie A. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. the lineup for the hosts today well it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today will they stay high and wide will they come in field and support the center forward and how deep will they come out of possession they're going to be key to this formation team well on paper they look a very balanced team the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the center forward otherwise they might just lack a bit of penetration and so the match is underway Poor attempt at a pass, really. Alexis Salamakers. A very good tackle. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. I think we're going to see more of the same today. High pressing at its best. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Right, just getting word that someone has scored in the Torino game, but who exactly? Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Torino. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. They've scored the opener here with 10 minutes played. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Keen to take it short here. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Diaz. Could cross it in here. Could be threatening. Not away completely. 
And a time for calm on the ball. Promising looking ball. Big opportunity. Can they stop it going in? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Good work from Milan to make sure possession changed hands. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Torino, and he got the technique all wrong with that one. Can they put it away? Well, they can bring it out now. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Alexis Salamakers. Tonali with it. And he was in the right place to intercept. Hickey. Possession lost. Sven Botman. Given away again. Right, I think I'd better send it over to Alex Scott because I'm hearing there's been a change to the situation in the Sassuolo game, Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Sassuolo. It's now 1-0 with both. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Playing it short. Olivier Giroud at the ready. And a goal! The first in the derby goes to the Rossoneri. A real jolt to the home fans. Well, here's the replay. And they work it well just to change the angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Sven Botman. In possession at De Boer. Well, trying his luck from a long way out, but the keeper saw it all the way. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, Milan in front after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Gives it a go! And a goal to square the game! Into the seat stuff! Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Lorenzi. I must say, this looks promising. And whipped into the box. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. OK, the situation has changed, I'm hearing, in the Sassuolo game. And that means we join Alex Scott for an update. Yeah, it's a goal for Sassuolo. It's now 2-0. 
2-1 with 53 minutes played. Entertaining stuff so far here, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. Precise ball movement. So a personnel change then. Can he play it in? And the referee says penalty. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And we're into the final half hour. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Brahim. Rafael Leao. Teo Hernandez now. Slip short passing. Hickey. In a position from which they could potential. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. The short corner, let's see. He takes aim, but it was straight up the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Has eyes for goal! Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here okay the situation has changed i'm hearing in the calgary game and that means we join alex scott for an update it's a goal for inter it was a low driven cross and he was never going to miss from there it's now 3-1 with oh magnificent from the keeper fantastic stop well apologies to alex for the interruption just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game, and their lead stands at 3-1. And a long way out here. Oh, yes! You cannot strike them any better than that. Brilliant goal. Well, here it is again. And wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Kea. Kessier has it. Brahim. And just five minutes remaining. Can he get one back? What a save. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, he needs to clear it here. 
Mm -hmm. Trying his luck from long range. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. And time for the change now. Florenzi. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek, that's exactly the start you want. Yes, one or two players looked a little bit tired towards the end of the game, but that's to be expected. Overall, I thought it was a really good display. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.